Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Schenectady, New York, with Danny from New York State Audits, as he attempts to do something rather vile and disgusting, going far beyond the call of duty for most frauditors, as he films a traffic accident where there are fatalities, and he decides to start filming the victims the p victims who have passed on. And he gets all butthurt about the officers asking him to do a simple thing like back up a few feet so they can expand the accident scene and do their investigation properly. But you know how these some of these frauders are. I mean, you ask them to back up a, a, an inch, oh, that's the end of the world. They act like... You have violated every single right that they have. But you know what? Screw them. At any rate, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Now, allow me to make a little bit of a correction. I said traffic accident at the beginning. Now, I'm not entirely sure if that's the case. I don't know. But there is one thing I do know that I do know, and that Danny Boy definitely filmed a body in the street being covered up by a sheet. And I am sure that nobody wants to see their loved ones sprawled out on the concrete on YouTube like that. So why would you do that, Danny Boy? At any rate, I'm going to edit that part out and uh, continue on. What's the problem, man? Okay, what's the problem? Am I doing something wrong? And my respect, I have a right to do this, man. Be quiet. Excuse me? Okay, what's the problem? What are you telling me? Fuck you, respect. I'm, I'm not doing nothing wrong. What do you mean? Oh, okay, not legally, right? Like you said, shut the fuck up. Leave me the fuck alone. Do your job, leave me alone, you fucking clown. As you can tell, simple human decency waved bye-bye to this guy a long time ago. I mean, I don't know what made you into this kind of jackass that wants to film corpses on the side of the road while their families are watching, but you know what? That's not what most human beings would do do because they know that they've got a family over there that's mourning the loss of their loved one but but no he doesn't care in fact he doesn't he doesn't care to the point where he ended up posting this video on his YouTube channel with dead body included so i will be including the link in the description box below to and you can check it out for yourself and go ahead and report it because, well, if he's not going to possess that simple bit of human decency, he might as well learn uh, YouTube's terms of service. Clown, man. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out how to push the tape even more, huh? The tape is fine, man. You're the one being... So we got to have stuff coming in and out. We are going to so, time. So extend it. I'm not going nowhere until I see tape. Oh, I have it in my hand. Okay. So put the tape up. So back up. Put the tape up. Let me see. So back up. It's gonna be Where are you going to go? Daniel, come on. Back all What's there. that tape for then? Yeah, I'm going to take it down after I'm done. I can't. obviously cannot, you know. Get out of here, dude. You're playing yourself. I'm going over here. I'm not going where the f*** you want me to go. Get out of here. What the hell's wrong with you? Yo, no. I'm behind the tape, man. Fuck you. You back and up. The back up. You back up. I'm right obeying the tape. Inside the tape, Daniel. Okay. Oh, now I'm inside the tape. Shut up. What is so wrong with expanding the crime scene, dude? I mean, they've got to do their jobs. They've got to do the. They've got to do the investigation, and all you are being is a hindrance to that. 
So do us all a favor and do what you frauditors do best. Go kick rocks. Gentlemen, there's no, there's no uh, reasoning with them. I appreciate it. I was behind the line. I was behind the line, man. I was behind the line, man. Pay attention. Pay, I was behind the line. Pay attention. All right, so then pay attention then. I was behind the line. I know I'm good, man. A little longer than a few minutes later. Was you? Were you? Okay, well, congratulations. Do you have a purpose in video? Yeah, I do. I'm videoing everything here because if I can see it in public, I can film it. So what's your deal? Why are you in my face? So then get out of here. All right, so get out of here. But you coming as close to the line as you could, right? And so are you. Okay, because I can. So can I. Oh, can you? For intimidation purposes? Have a good night. Go supervise them. You're not my boss. Look, and now you following me? You know you uh, violated my right to film, right? Yes, you are. It's called it's called New York Civil Rights Law, Section 79P. Well, you certainly are right about the existence of that law. And there are five provisions within that law that would say your right to film the police would be violated under those five particular uh, provisions. But so let's go ahead and take a look at each one of them and see if any of them have been violated. Provision 1, intentionally preventing or attempting to prevent that person from recording law enforcement activity. No, I didn't see that. But it could be argued that the last scene right there might be construed as the officer attempting to do so. But all he did was turn his back to Danny Boy, and Danny Boy could have just as easily walked around him and filmed anyway. So I don't think that would work. Provision 2, threatening that person for recording law enforcement activity. Nope, there were no threats. Provision 3, commanding that the person cease recording law enforcement activity when the person was nevertheless authorized under law to record. I didn't see any officer commanding him to stop, so he wouldn't uh, be able to use that one right there. Provision 4. Stopping, seizing, searching, ticketing, or arresting that person because that person recorded a law enforcement activity. Or Part 5. Unlawfully seizing property or instruments used by that person to record a law enforcement activity. Unlawfully destroying or seizing a recorded image or recorded images of a law enforcement activity or copying such a recording of a law enforcement activity without consent of the person who recorded it or approval from an appro appropriate court. And none of that happened at all. So, Danny boy, you don't have exactly have a leg to stand on in that particular threat you just put out. So, go kick rocks. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.